Uh, let's let's show a video real quick from that man's coach, uh, just so we can really see <laughs> yes. what the Tennessee <laughs> Titans building is like right now. So when a play like that is made, you could see some real relief off the shoulders because of what has happened for the Titans. Here's Paul Kuharski of Outkick, who has covered the Tennessee Titans for a long time, and the reigning coach of the year, Mike Vrabel, having an interaction at a press conference just yesterday. And this is what life is like whenever you lose games with the media and as reigning coach of the year having that conversation about not making the big mistakes and things like that for a couple of weeks now. The offense goes out and you get a penalty from one of your key guys on the on the first series end up in second and 22 or whatever. What's that say about kind of the message getting through and guys kind of doing <laughs> not doing the things that you've been talking about for three weeks? That's yeah, that's uh, going to be a, a quick answer to an incredibly terrible long question <laughs> just continue to stay consistent and and focus on improvement and um, you know, making sure that they understand where some of these penalties occur uh. you know pressure and you know Nate kind of went back and you know uh, I think Ben saw the backer blitz and so just understanding like in special teams where you know those guys you know you get blocks in the back out in space is just trying to understand where those occur you know Hooper's penalties at the point of attack you know it's yeah, those are things that set you behind. Yeah, dude, I love it. As he's Unreal. asking a question, Vrabel knows Paul. Paul's been there since before Vrabel has become the head coach. The tone of the question, you could see Vrabel just being like, mm -hmm. what's this guy accusing me of right here in the middle of this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give you a quick answer. It turns out to a long answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. turns out to be a great answer. And I don't know if he meant to say terrible long question or terribly long Question. He says terrible long yeah. question, so he dunks on him at the moment. Yeah. I fucking love Rabes, dude. Love Paul. Sat in the pocket, asked his question. Obviously, the tone of the question is certainly fascinating with the reigning coach of the year acting as if he's lost the locker room, kind of, is what he was hinting at. Oh, yeah. And then Vrabel fucking coming back. I love I enjoy this type of stuff, AJ. Yeah, it's always the tone of the question, I think. It's not really what is asked. It's always kind of like you could tell the tone of it. And, yeah, the – Everyone's getting paid a lot of money in the NFL, coaches, players, all that. They can handle whatever. But, yeah, they're also humans. They're allowed to get frustrated and pissed off at questions. Oh, too. yeah, we were talking about that yesterday with the Giovanni Bernard thing where mm -hmm. it was like, what, what if you're done for us to a conversation with me? Talk, that was the tone. Talk. Greg Allman quotes we did and said that he wishes he would have handled that in a different fashion in the way oh, it was good. and everything like that. So we appreciate yes. him. Gio's it, a great dude. I play with Gio. Started to kick off. Gio, like, you can hear him speaking in that term. Like, he like yeah, Gio's a team dude, and he was genuinely like surprised, like wow, what, what what's <laughs> happening here, man? Like I thought we were thought we were good. You suck at football. It was kind of what was it was the tone in which it was being asked. Yeah. Obviously, he knows that he was in the middle of a terrible play, and he fucked up, and he owned that. But like, also, he's been in the NFL more than ten years. Noted good guy. Like yeah. you're in his locker room too. Not we need the media. Media is needed, but also not objects, humans. And I think you can get much better answers out of people if you treat them that way. This happened in Buffalo with yes. Josh Allen at a press conference just yesterday. This is seem or last week. This is seemingly all starting to happen now. Late. Listen to the tone in the words that are said from a credentialed media person. And we, I don't know if we know the name or not. Don't yeah. want to out them. They, yeah. Like whatever the case is, I'm sure this isn't like their finest moment. But listen to how somebody feels okay enough to talk to fucking Josh Allen as a media. Josh Allen, MVP candidate. Josh Allen, the prototype, what everybody's looking yeah. for. Here's media member giving their opinion to Josh Allen in the middle of a press conference. It doesn't look like an offense that's not enough to win the Super Bowl right now. Okay. <laughs> Josh, on that. Okay, on shut the fuck up. I, I'm surprised Josh didn't say that. Yeah. You know, like Josh. Was that Allen, a question? Was that was it. He asked a question about oh. the offense. Josh gave an answer. Then the follow up was, "This doesn't look like an offense that can win a Super Bowl." And Josh, like, okay, it's like Josh <laughs> handling Josh. that. I think he took yeah. the high road, and I appreciate that. But just the thought that I, I should say this to Josh Allen, the one of the best football players in the world <laughs> by far, who is the captain of the offense, like. Just that sort of entitlement to even think you should say that, I find amazing, and uh, I appreciate yeah. it. But with the Geo situation, with this situation, with the Josh Allen, with the Vrabel situation, it's like, hey, we all got to remember we're in this together. And also, not objects, not on internet, human in-person interaction. Let's have a little respect for each other.
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's uh, let's have a little both bit of ways. Respect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was both, both ways. ways. You're right. You ways. Build up the player. Talk about the good things, Sean, to say you don't think they can win an offense even if, or a Super Bowl, even if that's what your opinion is. And also, I think we can all, you know, revel in the fact that Sal Capaccio had that guy's tongue, you know, <laughs> taken out of his body. Yeah. So I'm not – I don't think we're, we'll hear from that guy anymore. Um, I've never played football in my life. I have no idea. But you don't have an offense that can win a Super Bowl. Josh fucking Allen. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Like, that is wild. That was crazy. It is, I, w- it? I would like to hear the first part of that question, too. But for him to end it like that, yeah, this offense can't win. I don't, I don't see it. In Buffalo. Thanks, pal. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you want to drop some fucking plays for us, dude? Like, <laughs> okay, what yeah. team in Buffalo over the last 30 years? <laughs> or, excuse me, 22, since in the 90s they had those teams. No, it's not just Buffalo. I'm sure there's more. Sure, yeah. And we're getting to the time of the year. Everybody's tired, right? It's mm-hmm. the end of the year. We've been a part of the grind. <laughs> sure. But let's just remember humans here, okay? Both ways. Yep. Humans, let's go ahead and try our best here. We don't have to seek out quotes from people that never made it in the NFL mm-hmm. to bury people. You know? Josh Allen's, you know, he hurt his throwing elbow. Probably won't be completely healthy till the end of the season. And with that elbow, you won't be able to win a Super Bowl. You stink. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That was a wild thing yeah. in a press conference. Yeah, to the one seed quarterback. It's not like they're a wild card team. They're the one seed in the AFC. <laughs> awesome. He could just phrase it as a question. About? Why don't he just ask the question instead of do saying their think- offense stinks? Yeah. Exactly. Do you think this offense can win a Super Bowl? That's all you had to say. And maybe that's what he meant to do. And, you know, mm-hmm. maybe Vrabes meant to say terribly long question mm-hmm. as opposed to terrible long, long question. question. <laughs> Which was. Yeah, well, let's like, remember. He hey, was pretty clear. I think Vrabes was clear. His face as he's asking yeah. questions. You see his little Ohio fuck head. Yes. Yeah. Like, interesting, down. interesting tone you've chosen. Mm. Here, Do you think the reporter felt it as he was asking? Like I can see Braves getting <laughs> yeah. more and more mm-hmm. heated by every word I say. Oh, I know, I know, Paul. I know the guy that asked that question. Hilarious. Like he's been around long, long time. Knows Vrabel, smart guy. So I would assume Vrabel's face just like. <laughs> Interesting tone you have right here, pal. My life is not fun right now. Yeah. Okay. You're looking at a miserable man. V- Rabes is standing up there. I've not slept more than four <laughs> hours. I like, we fired our GM fucking yeah. middle of the season just last week. Okay. OC got a DUI three weeks ago. Okay. We are losing. This is not going to be got one leg. Yeah. Might be out. Yeah. Actually, two. He is out, I think, actually. Tannehill, I think oh, he's really? going to be. I Doubtful mean, is yeah, what it seemed. That was the conversation. The report so. by Rap today. And Bray was like, it's tough. Oh, is that right? Okay, well, it's going to be a quick answer to a terrible, okay, long question. What a moment. Mm-hmm. So remember, it's holiday season. We need each other. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good night, Joe.